Let's start by going to Manage tab and Dynamo. Next, go to Packages, search for a package and type in in the search bar Synthesize Toolkit. Now after you find it, click on Install Latest Version. Next, quit out of Dynamo and go to Dynamo Player. Now you will need to browse to the extra folder of Dynamo Player in order to see those set of tools. The folder can be found in the Synthesize Toolkit Package folder. It's called the Extra folder. It's found in the roaming folder of your Windows inside Dynamo Revit, your Dynamo version, and then navigate to the Synthesize Toolkit Extra folder in the Dynamo Player window using the Browse to folder. Next, after having all that done and set up, we can get started. And remember, you'll need to have the latest 2018.2 version of Revit. Now, each of those tools can enhance Revit computational parametric abilities, starting with the K attractor that uses Dynamo's computational powers to make an attractor or more to change specific or multi parameters in the same time. You can also go to the family section and randomize family types to explore different possibilities. Also, you can use attractors in the family types themselves. Of course, all of those nodes can be used in the project environment too. For example, this parametric shading window. Now, if you love using Fusion 360, you can have your model synced directly with Fusion 360 with each SAT export using the Fusion SAT Sync node that keeps the relationships connected with your Fusion and Revit models. Otherwise, if you don't want to use Fusion to create organic models, you can sure use Geometry Form or geometry dynaform section to manipulate your model using Dynamo. Of course, you'll need to rename your point according to an alphabetical numbered sequence using the DynaPoint renumber node. Next, you can explore more tools such as the walls section, the interior single intersection to create your interior intersecting walls with your mass. Other tools, of course, available like automatic joining based on interference check reports to optimize the performance and avoid unnecessary warnings, and so many other tools like creating topography tunnels fixing some patterns, problems, customizing the ends of your adaptive components, and so on. Go ahead and start exploring the Synthesize Toolkit. You can start by watching the full lecture of the K-Attractor video. Later on, by the end of January 2018, each of those individual tools will have its own screencast link associated with the node in the Dynamo player itself, so every user is provided with an example of each of the nodes in the toolkit. Of course, everything you see in the K Attractor video is provided in the extra folder as your samples.